Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2022 Men's Premier League Grand Final between Mindalaces Football Club and Hellenic Athletic Club. It's the day we all wait for here in Australia's top end. More than bragging rights, it's for silverware. And we have the two best sides in here to battle it out. We're treated here for football. My name is George Skufezis and I'm proud to be joined once again by Andrew Savas. And Andrew, I've been really counting down the days this week to Saturday night. We've just been treated to an emphatic Hellenic win over the Mindelaces in the Women's Premier League. But now it's the men. And we've seen only just weeks ago how tight these two sides are at the top. And what's your preview for this evening's encounter? Oh. It's definitely going to be a highly contested match, George. Um, you can definitely hear the humming of the crowd. When big crowds walk in, you can hear the humming. So the excitement's there. The energy's going to be there. Players are going to draw from that. I think it's going to be a highly contested match. Hellenic are very good on the ball, and Mindel are very good off the ball. So it's going to be a battle of two titans, isn't it? So Absolutely. it's going to see who who comes out first, who comes out strong, willing to play um, in based off their strengths. And, yeah, hope the crowd will probably show them on to the point where you know they'll be they'll be focusing on their strengths more so than anything absolutely the crowd factor is that massive influence here in the men's premier league game of course we are packed to the brim here at larrakia park and crowd are still coming in as we speak and certainly going to be a match for all matches of course history is on the table for the aces a victory tonight we'll see them be crowned as back to back to back champions so a feat not achieved by that many clubs and hellenic athletic club having missed out on the grand final the last couple of seasons their side will look to rectify that and after losing out to this side in the australia cup they'll look to exact revenge and of course, you've got a bit of insight into the Hellenic background and what's the mood been like for at training this week? Yeah, there's just been a big focus on, in preparing for this game mentally because they haven't come, uh, they haven't won the championship for about four years now, so they've had some sort of drought. Dimi did make it an emphasis at the start of the season that he really, really wanted to win the grand final for his team. And yep. This is obviously a game of opportunity for both sides. You've got Hellenic that want to win the grand final to win, uh, to obviously succeed in um, overcoming their drought. And then you've got Mindel with a chance to make their full mark on NT football by winning their first league, uh, prem Premier League in, in, what is it, 30? Yeah, yeah, they've successfully achieved that feat. Of course, it was a narrow defeat of Hellenic, which secured that only a couple weeks ago. and. Tonight. Sorry. Sorry, I meant the grand getting final. The, getting the grand final and the league yes, in the same yep, season. Yes, yep. Of course, we've seen them 42 years it took for them to break their premiership drought, the minor premiership, as it's maybe more popularly known across other sporting codes. And here, though, first time in history to do both the league and the cup double. Hellenic, left to right on your screens to get us kicked off and underway. Ladies and gentlemen, all I can say is strap yourselves in because this is about to be exciting as Bell gets it back to Karpathios and now Nicholas Stefanodakis, of course the 2022 season best and fairest, loses out to Kane McDowell there. It's Joshua Evans, of course alongside Matthew Wallace have formed quite some partnership. He's ball to Mifsud, goes to Lewis William and now the Frenchman here, Tom Alibert. It's Kane McDowell with possession, he can come away. Early ball, nullified there by the Hellenic skipper and Alex Turner. Now Joshua Laguda. His ball wide finds Williams and Roberto Sickles deflects that. Now Parascos Coombe to that big number 10 inclusion once again. Jesse Pinto and his ball out wide and into touch. It looks as though Andrew Jesse Pinto is taking more of a midfield role as we're more accustomed to seeing him rather than that right back position against Casarina last week? Yeah, I think it's because Fitzy's uh, disappearance from the red card. I think uh, he had to obviously s slot into the midfield and then Roberto took that left back role. I don't think anyone else could have taken that position mm -hmm. other than Keelan, who's currently on the bench. He just played 90 minutes against Garuda yeah. so, um, for the reserves team, so I don't think uh, he'll be coming on soon. He'll yep. end up coming on as an emergency, if anything. It looks as though early on that Hellenic have adopted perhaps a, a three at the back formation, perhaps with 
unless Roberto is coming in at that left back, he just advanced a little highly as the Aces come on an attack here. Tom Alibert turning away from danger, finds Lewis William. We're going to get past Carpathios, but he has Bilius in in front of him. Ball comes into the box here. Nice chest down by Roberto Sickles. Now Carpathios to Bilius. Further clearance sees Matthew McNabb get on the ball, looking to accelerate away from McDowell. Brought to ground. Kane McDowell strong in his first tussle with McNabb. Comes through here and no free kick to the Aces there. And it looks as though, like the last game against Hellenic in the league, that James Carr is playing at centre forward rather than centre back. As Ali Burt now to Carr, aforementioned, and now it's Tavian Ludvigsen taking his time with possession to McDowell. Back to Laguda, pressure on by Coombe. Ball comes into the box here to Carr. Turns and has the shot. It's blocked by Turner and lofted into the night sky as Wallace rises with Bell. And McDowell brings it down, and now it's Jeffrey Williams. His ball back will find Jordan Stobart. And as we saw in the previous women's match, that the pitch has certainly absorbed a lot of water. The rain has stopped, but it's very zippy across the field, and I'm sure we'll see some play profiting from those conditions, as that maybe is one of them, to the disadvantage of the Aces. And so now it does look like, yep, Sickles has dropped more into that left-back role. And Bilius, a rare start, but he is on the ball there. And with a throw-in. Of course, Alex Fitzmorris dismissed two yellow cards last week. And we'll see if the Hellenic club can have that same drive on that right-hand side as Sickles inside to Carpathios. Back to Ajeke. Ball is on forward. McNabb with a... High curl attempt, and that one goes out of play. Looks as though perhaps McNabb as well, at this early stage, a bit more of a central role rather than well, ever-changing his comeback yeah. out to the right-hand side. So Yeah, his starting position is uh, as a seven. Um, yeah. But he does love to come in as an inverted winger um, and make that, uh, obviously, look to combine with his uh, attacking players mm -hmm. um, when the board does come forward. So his starting position is on the wing, but he does like to tuck in. Absolutely, I'm sure we'll see that as Laguda has adventured forward. Lewis William loses out with possession. Pinto's forward ball looks for McNabb, and Mifsud can head that one confidently out of play. And Pinto with ball in hand again. Throws back to Bilius. Dispossessed here. Tom Alibert for the Aces is plenty of time. Options are plenty. Goes wide to Carr. Looks for the back post, perhaps. Ludvigsen lies in wait as Carr drives it that direction and a little over the head of Ludvigsen and out of play for a throw. There's a lot of danger men on the field and, of course, Mindel or without James Cameron this evening, number seven, is being replaced on the bench by Eamon Kelly. Scored in their last outing as well, so ever-present danger, but... I guess touching back to the Blues camp, Andrew, who would you say would be that num that danger man for them this evening if they are to get the win? Oh, I really do think uh, McNabb's the danger man. Obviously scoring uh, the amount who are finishing golden, with the golden boot, obviously, at the end of the season. So he is the danger man. Mindel are going to be looking out, um, trying to make sure that they're trying to contain him. Mm -hmm. Attack here. And Marshall through. So Matthew McNabb, yep. Trying to contain him, um, obviously, with his uh, goal-scoring prowess. And you've also got Barasco who's really, really good at getting behind defensive lines as well. Mm -hmm. So those two wingers, uh, if Mendel can contain them, they're going to... Hellenic's going to probably have a hard time scoring. Certainly will. And Jekai plays it forward to Simon Bell. Plays a pass back to a Jekai. Dinks it over, looking for McNabb. Mifsud's there and gets it past Evans. McDowell comes for the aces and... Now Bilius to Carpathios. Space seemed to diminish, but he does very well, the Greek midfielder. And now Paraskos Kuhn looking to play it forward in front of Pinto, but a little too much. Laguda is able to come onto the end of it. Jordan Stobart. Left clearance out for Mifsud. First time ball forward. Bilius repels that one. It could fall fortuitously for M McNabb. Bounces away from... Mifsud, now Bell, and great clearance in there from Wallace. It thought about having a shot, perhaps the big number nine. It sat well for him. 
Now it's the other number nine, Ludvigsen. Inside for Tom Ali Burt. And the offside flag does rise there. A little too early the run made by Lewis William, but there seems to be a lot of space in and around that Hellenic midfield, especially when the Aces uh, counter attacking. You did mention in the pregame that Hellenic is very good with the ball, but the Aces look to be clogging up those spaces off the ball. Yeah, I think Hellenic are committing men forward as well too much. Um, and when they do do that, uh, as they're going forward, there's mm -hmm. a lot of space for middle to, to attack. So I think Hellenic just got to be wary of that. They are a little bit shaky on the ball right now. Yep. Middle do look more composed. Mm -hmm. As Jackie has possession here, pretty dangerous area. He gets it wide to Bilius. He needs to do well to clear his lines. He does extremely well, and Karpathios will be able to absorb the challenge and take that free kick. And of course, that Karpathios Stefanodakis combination in midfield, that young midfielders rising through Hellenic has been a keystone, I guess, to a lot of their success this season. And yeah, I think uh, George plays the deep playmaker role really, really well. And then that sort of contradicts Nick's play, which just makes it just even better because Nick's more of a direct player. is able to get the ball forward and bring, bring that energy mm -hmm. to uh, Hellenic's attack. So yep. it's a really great combo. And they're so young and they're so uh, such a good, uh, I guess, assets for yeah, Hellenic. Yeah, potential are plenty, that's for sure. As Evans here, another one of those newly signed players this season. I last saw him in Darwin in 2019 for the Edgeworth Eagles. Of course, they played in the round of 32 against Darwin Olympic and slotted well this season in the Aces' defense. It's Ali Burt. He can come away from Pinto, but he just left that outstretched foot there. And it wasn't intentional, but Pinto certainly saw it and took the contact. And will be a Hellenic free kick inside their own defensive half. Pinto with the ball perhaps will elect to go long. Parascos Coombe can see a short to McNabb. Back to Pinto. Now it's Matthew McNabb. Back to Jesse Pinto. Wide to Bilius. First time ball over the top looking for Stefanodakis. Laguda takes it down. Now it's Carr. Sees the run of Tavian Ludwigsen. Chests it well, but Vero Sickles reads it. Puts it out of play, of course. Another tactical move that's already paid dividends in season 2022 by placing James Carr forward and scored in his last outing with the Hellenic. And very strong forward as comes inside for William, has a pot shot there but no danger clearance by Bilius out to McNabb turns away from Laguda now a Jack A swiped clearance looking for Simon Bell but this one will skip a wide for Mifsud to take Joshua Laguda McNabb getting in there as well but still with Joshua Laguda Tom Alibert now with possession for the Aces he runs away looks to thread through Laguda offside flag is up Lashed it with power post flag, but another present danger for the Aces. They can score from anywhere, and Laguda just reminds them he's not just a defensive midfielder. I mean, I guess only 10 minutes gone, but so far we haven't quite seen Hellenic enter their attacking box and very much hampered down by Mindel Aces at the moment. Yeah, it does look like Mindel. Uh do ha have the most energy coming into the game so far. They do look more composed as opposed to Hellenic. You've just seen there, they've just given away a, mm -hmm. a silly pass uh, that should have been um, you know, a pretty pretty easy one to yep. contain. But I think they've just got to be careful here these first couple of minutes. Absolutely. And this could work out well. Of course, the zip on the pitch sees Coombe looking to come away from Williams, but always getting a bit of hands on his man as he came through and will be a Mindelace's free kick. They've got the tools to definitely unlock any defense in the league, and Hellenic will look to leverage that as this game goes on. Clearance out by Williams. Kapathios heads back. Ludwigsen can run across to this one here. He's got the pace to burn away from Bilius. Tavian Ludwigsen comes away from his defender. It's an across attempt headed out by Turner. 
And out of play for Mindel throw in. Of course, I did get a chance to come past the changing room of the Aces, and they do have their three, or their, sorry, their two grand final trophies in that change room. And there is a spot for a third, perhaps the actor's motivation as this header flicks on. A Jack A gets a touch. They appeal for a throw penalty, but nothing doing, just a throw. And of course, that could possibly work in one of two ways, either that let's get that third or that just that added bit of pressure on top of an already massive game for yeah, a player. Yeah, they've, um, they've gone back to back, obviously, with the championship and, and backing it up again is just something else. That, that just shows the quality side that they've been these past couple of seasons. But like I said at the start, if they're able to uh, win the league, win their FA Cup, uh, get into the round of 32, and then win this, they've fully made their mark um, on, on Darwin football. And I'm pretty sure Dan knows that, and he wants to make sure he wins this game. Absolutely. Well said as well as Coombe again, a little advantageous to win possession. Works out his way, though. Free kick against Mindel as Pinto. Lashes one forward, Sickles there, well on side. Asks for a player to come, Bell. Evans got front position and plays it out and a throw in for Hellenic here. The crowd still filling here at Darwin Football Stadium. They'll certainly bring the noise as this encounter continues. Now Simon Bell, clearance there by Evans. Jack A needs to be careful here. He gets a clearance in there for looking for his captain. He manages to keep it in very well there, Alex Turner. Ludvigsen. K. McDowell. Back to Matthew Wallace. The Aces captain to Tavian Ludvigsen. Inside for McDowell. Stefan Adaka steals possession. And now Alexander Turner. Looks to turn away from Carr. Tenacious there. The Aces with the press. And they almost... Won the ball themselves. It's a Jack A. To his goalkeeper and Kane McAdam. First long clearance for the keeper this evening. Finds Billius and Miffs it now. They've got the numbers here as a Jack A comes in with a strong clearance and clears his lines. Prevents the Mindel counter attack there. A throw in to come. Well, the Aces as well. 14 minutes or so gone here. Nil-nil on North Crest scoreboard as Mifsud throws inside. Tom Alibert now Ludvigsen to Lewis William looking to get it across to McDowell. Stefan Adarkas once again steals possession. He looks to zip away. Rides the challenge of McDowell. Referee says play on. Williams now wide to Tavian Ludvigsen. Forced wide by Roberto Sickles now. Williams. Trying to get past a couple blues as Sickles dinks out possession. And out of play for a throw. Of course, the last time Hellenic were involved in action, we saw pretty much everything there was to see in a game take place. Do you think a game as chaotic as that, or do you think this will be a little bit more structured or organised? I do think there's going to be more of a tactical set on this game. Um, it all depends what happens throughout the game if there's a particular challenge that happens that sets off um, one of the players from a different uh, from one of the mm -hmm. teams and yep. um, you know that can spur on other things as well so that's just something that uh, I think both teams have to watch out for yep um, but again anything can happen in and football so anything can happen late challenge in there as McAdam with possession when they look to just play it out he does just so his teammate can receive some treatment if required. Jesse Pinto there, a man who more or less has acted like a fly-in player these last two weeks, but to no expense of his teammates, they're making sure that he's able to take place in the club's biggest games of the season. As it will come back with a drop ball to the Hellenic goalkeeper. Of course, a new challenge in the box. And so an automatic drop ball to the goalkeeper. Now Tega Rejeke. Nice zipping ball. Contact off Lewis William and then back off McNabb. Frustratingly for him. Now to play for a middle throw. Mifsud advances forward with the throw in. Now Carr. Good strength to ride off there. Tega Rejeke does go out of play for another middle throw. And Mifsud. 
options are plenty. So looks to throw in for Ludvigsen. Advances forward to chest it down. Away from Karpathios and come off the Greek midfielder and out of play for a throw. Already beyond 15 minutes of this game. Very cagey start. No goalkeeper required to make any saves thus far. Smithsford's throw goes in. McDowell brings it down. And Laguda looking to ride a couple challenges as Karpathios gets a clearance. Now Coom. Space to operate. He looks to play it over here for Bell, but Mifsud is able to repel. Now Matthew Mifsud. Wired to Joshua Laguda. Lewis William. Back to Mifsud. Run being made forward if he can find it. Cars made it. But Turner heads it, certainly, and Bilius down for Pinto. Away from Laguda. Now it's Matthew McNabb. Chance to dink over a through ball and had to be intervened by Matthew Wallace. That sat well for Bell. And still Wallace. Now Evans. Handball shouts there from the crowd and the players. Perhaps not warranted from the referee as Mifsud. Sees the run by Laguda. Looks to be perfectly made. McAdam needs to read it well. Got a good header to it. Sickles back to Turner. Away from Ali Burt. Raskos Coombe comes wide to offer space. Coombe forward for McNabb. First time ball. Looking to play it over the top for Stefan Adarkas. This may sit well for the midfielder. He'll take it in to try and get past Laguda. Laguda holds him up very well. And he comes the other way. Turner down. Car away from Karpathios. Trying to win ground there. And he will by the form of a throw in. 18 and a half minutes gone here on the North Crest scoreboard. Still no sign at goal. But of course that can change in an instant. Williams goes forward. Finds it out to Ludvigsen. Karpathios trying to win the ball back. And Ludvigsen's pass across for Ali Burt. This could be a chance here. Ludvigsen away from a jack A. Outstretched leg. Referee's happy with it. Play on. Ludvigsen remains to ground for the time being as Evans with possession for the aces. Back to Wallace. Wallace look to possibly come wide here as Ludvigsen returns to his feet. Lewis William. Does eventually go wide to that direction. Matthew Mifsud. All inside the box here. Ali Burt with a header. McDowell from distance. Fancies the attempt. He has a strike. And McAdam is able to save that well. Comes quickly out wide to Paraskos Coombe. Fancies a run. He looks to get past McDowell. Matthew McNabb. No one back in there for McNabb as Laguda has possession. Coombe stays down. And Coombe will stay down, holding perhaps the head there. And any head knock requires a immediate halt to action. 20 minutes gone here, Andrew. What have you seen from the big decider in the Men's Premier League so far? Yeah, I think Mindula really have been really good recapturing the ball. Um, I think Hellenic need to be a little bit more composed on the ball. They're, they are giving the way, away the ball pretty cheaply. And when they are going forward, they are forcing it, looking for a dink over the top. Simon Bell's making a run, uh, trying to get behind the defensive line. I really think Simon Bell needs to get into the game, look to combine with the wingers mm. and, the, and the attacking midfielder coming through. So I just think they just need to be a little bit more composed and they should be able to get into the game yep. a little bit more than what they have already have. As down comes forward, Ali Burt, there's a wide run here, and he'll find Mifsud. McNabb tracking hard as Matthew Mifsud looks for an angled ball. Jacke away first time, Karpathios with the outstretched leg. Bilius comes in and saves the day for the moment. So bounce up for Evans. They combine here. Joshua Evans out wide to Mifsud. Mifsud drives one home straight to the goalkeeper. Plenty of time to react with this one, Jordan Stobart. And options are plenty, either out wide or down the field. He looks central. Tom Ali Burt receives possession. Turns away from Pinto. Tom Ali Burt now forward for Tavian Ludvigsen. And there is a foul in there. Pinto, once again, of course, 
yellow carded last week and very, very nearly dismissed. He'll need to certainly stay in this game for as long as possible with Matthew Mifsud. Perhaps look to hit the head of Carr. It does. And that one is perhaps just a flash warning shot to the Blues defenders, not to allow him too much space and time to strike a ball. Couldn't quite direct that. Perhaps that attempt couldn't quite have that momentum to direct it the way well, I he... Think, I think where James Carr is as well, it's a bit difficult to uh, guide the ball into the box when he's on top of the... Uh, sorry, into the goals when he's on top of the box. Um, it was a good uh, cross, though. If he was probably facing the goal as, mm -hmm. as he was coming in, maybe it could have uh, been a shot on target. And a lot of voices out there, a lot of big characters out there for both sides. It's thrown forward for one of those, James Carr, coming in there against a Jack A, and there is a lingering challenge on the Hellenic centre half. Nothing more than a foul, I don't think. Pinto asking the question and told to go away. Believes James Carr will probably have a stern talking to. The usual centre half playing as a would be striker. Trying to defensively assert himself on this game, but just being told to keep it in check by the referee. Did James, James Carr, did he play centre half for Edgeworth Eagles as well? Uh, no, that was Joshua Luke Gouda. The majority of his season for the Aces has been at centre half. And as I said it, Pinto goes in the book, 23 and a half minutes gone there. He's being urged to keep it in check. It's the last of your Warriors to have a play on a yellow card and to be perhaps walking a bit of a tightrope with the referee. Any kind of minor challenge may see him dismissed as a check eight comes forward for the Blues, looking for McNabb. It's a great header back. He'll be joined in attack there by Roberto Sickles. And now Matthew McNabb cuts inside away from Williams. That if a present danger, he provides forward. And his ball looking for Coombe. Mifsud heads out. Lewis William for the aces. Dinks it up into the air for Taven Ludvigsen to take down away from Carpathios. Stefanodakis trying to strip the ball, but doesn't quite work as Alibert does some hard running. The Frenchman fires across into this left-hand side, looking to come away from Carpathios. Tom Alibert's ball into the box to no avail. No teammate in there to dispatch as Sickles goes forward to Matthew McNabb. Coming in away from Williams. Still Matthew McNabb, halted eventually. Needs reinforcements and seeks defensively with Carpathios. Sickles away from Carr. Now Turner. Forward for Matthew McNabb once again. Reloads here with Roberto Sickles. Laguda is able to win the ball from pressure by McDowell as Turner heads for the Blues and now McNabb. He's going to come away from Wallace. Can't quite out muscle the Aces centre half as Turner back to Roberto Sickles and now Turner across to Ajeke. Look to utilise some width here. The Blues, as Pinto looks forward to Bell, holds the play up and is dispossessed. Bil Bilius back to Bell. Dispossessed again. Big forward being frustrated early as Ali Vert. Now Laguda. Angled ball looking for Lewis William. Options in the box and in around. Nice turn from Lewis William. Fancies a long attempt. William! He scorched that with a lot of power, and I tell you what, that moved in the air. For the replay there, not a bad attempt as your first shot on goal for Lewis William, Andrew. Uh, being able to beat the defender and then cut into the box like that, and then the technique on, on that shot as well was brilliant. I think Rossi needs to, Bilius needs to be just aware of that and yep. make sure it doesn't get in easier than what he just did just then. Certainly has to be a lot tighter on Lewis William. He has scored a number of goals this season from a long range. And another reminder 
to Hellenic defences that they're potent in attack from all directions as a ball comes out by McAdam. We'll find Sickles, but he's quickly dispossessed by Ludwigsen. And he gets it through the legs of Pinto as Sickles looks to come away. A nice diving and attempt by Ali Burt. Muscled off there by Pinto. Still with Pinto. And there is, seems to be a free kick in favour of Mindel. Bit of shaking of the head of Pinto. Referee decides it was a free kick, so the Aces will have an attempt. And in, from a distance like this, I would typically say it is going to be a set-piece routine, but Joshua Laguda has hit the back of the net from a range not so far from the one he is right now. Of course, it will take a mighty effort to beat Kane McAdam. Wall adjusted well to the liking of the Hellenic number one. Definitely a dangerous moment for Hellenic. are really, really good at set pieces and particularly from this range as well. So I think we need to be careful here. In comes Joshua Laguda with the strike and well commentators curse. Uh, very much so. I know it's also the weekend of the NRL grand final, and perhaps he was going for the extra point, but <laughs> or perhaps for those of you that are fans of the American football game, that certainly would have hit the upright as Jack A comes out of the box here. Forward for Parascos Coombe. Now Simon Bell muscled off a little bit and dispossessed once again Simon Bell. Coombe comes in there tenaciously to in possession. Plays it forward in front of Stefanodakis. Rides the challenge well still. Stefanodakis gets it wide for Matthew McNabb. Tries to turn on Williams. Halted for the moment. It's got Bell in reinforcement, but it will ultimately force the Blues back. Concede ground for Bell to lash one in, and Laguda gets it out to Tom Ali Burt. Now McDowell to Tavian Ludvigsen. Men forward, Karen Williams. as Tavian Ludvigsen goes forward, and Jack A cuts it out as Alexander Turner takes it forward. He immediately passes to McDowell. Dow as James Carr for the Aces. Not quite on there, that run by Ludvigsen, and Turner should see this one out, but does keep it in. Does not want to concede territorial ground and keeps it alive for George Carpathios now to take a rejecte. Back to his goalkeeper, Kane McAdam. And now Carpathios. Now Matthew McNabb, wide run's been made here by Sickles. He'll very hard, he dived in to win that one. Perhaps underestimated the carry of the ball. He may have had possession if he had stayed to, stayed to on his feet. Now Jeffrey Williams. Inside for Tom Ali Burt, on for Laguda. Now William, nicely played in front for Laguda. Lewis William, Billis has caught out of possession here. Lewis William can profit forward. Stefan Adakis has to do some defensive duties as Lewis William tucks in for a shot. And that one peters out to the goalkeeper. But once again, Andrew, they are catching Rossi Bilius just a little out of his territory and happens enough times. Certainly make him pay as we'll quickly go with this attack. Comes through for Carr and a Jack 8 Great out for a throw. Yeah, Mindela definitely catching them off guard, I mm -hmm. think. Like I said at the start, Hellenic do tend to push their players forward, and whenever Mindel recaps for that ball, they're really, really fast going forward, and yep. Hellenic are just not quick enough getting back. So I think, again, Hellenic need to be composed in the ball so they don't lose the ball cheaply, mm -hmm. and obviously if they do lose it, they've got to be able to come compact and, and get back to their position. Yep. Nice skill shown from Kane McDowell here as it entered the box as well. Cross into the box, call for a penalty. Referee quickly waves it away. As Hellenic clear their lines for the moment. Williams with a diving in attempt on Matthew McNabb. And now Ali Burt. Off to the clearance, more or less a cross, and it ends up into the grasp of McAdam. He goes to ground as he throws. Now it's Jesse Pinto. Parascos Kuhn. Pinto. Ball hit forward aimlessly, looking for perhaps a bell on McNabb, but it hits neither forward. Again, given the way, uh, giving away the board really cheaply, they had space to mm. drive and, and obviously go forward. And 
again, giving her away cheaply. It's not, not looking good for Hellenic when they're going forward. No, certainly not. And it's not just giving away possession. It's, of course, a lot of, I guess, running after the ball. It yeah. will take it out of you if you're doing that for 90 minutes as Wallace looking to play one forward off the shoulder of McDowell. And now it's Lewis William. Chance here for the Aces. Ludwigsen inside the box here. Comes in through for Carr and couldn't quite direct that with the outside of the boot past McAdams' goal. The flag did stay down. Sickles now to Matthew McNabb. Looks to cut inside. Fakes the one-two and away from Williams. Matthew McNabb away from another and he's brought to ground. The card will come. And Matthew Wallace, the captain, is the one to receive it. That's more like it from Hellenic. And yeah, quality by McNabb starting from the halfway line to get past those three players and then shifting and turning. It's it's not hard to it's not easy to do that. And again, McNabb's just won him won his uh, team a free kick right on top of the box. Goal scoring opportunity. Absolutely. And it was a halftime substitution that saw him enter the game last Friday night. Again, it was for Simon Bell. Tonight they're playing alongside each other, but so Matthew McNabb certainly adds that attacking dynamism that not many players can provide. He can hit him and he can hold the play up. He can take on a couple of players as we just saw and win your team territory. And of course, in front of goal, there has statistically been no man more lethal than Hellenic's number 23. In comes Karpathios with the delivery. It goes towards goal. Ajeke back inside here, headed on by Turner. Roof for the goal. I just thought for a moment that ball was going to be sucked into the net of the aces. Almost there, Bilius with the contact, and it was Turner. I guess almost looking behind him with a header there was never going to really get something meaningful off with that kind of position. Yeah, I think because he was running away from the goal, he had to flick his head back. It is pretty hard to, to get the ball down. Consistency is key, Consist I hear. <laughs> As it comes forward for Ludvigsen. Back to McDowell. Now Joshua Laguda. Mifsud looking to take it away from Coombe. It's a collision of players. Fair challenge. Referee says play on. Strong from the young Coombe. As Evans puts the ball forward. Ali Bird away from Karpathios. Turns the Greek midfielder as well. Car. Coombe has stayed down here in the centre of the heart pitch. Off your cameras as the Vixen's ball. Turner heads away. Now McDowell. Now Laguda. Mifsud. Ball forward off the thigh, I guess, of Bilius and through to the goalkeeper. And Hellenic will want to counter-attack if they can. Stefanodakis is being forced back to his goalkeeper, McAdam. Turner. Ajeke. Ajeke closed down there by Carr, but skillfully comes away. And that's a nice angle ball. Matthew McNabb couldn't quite take it down in his stride. He's very disappointed with that one. I thought certainly he was going to flash through on goal. And nine times out of ten, the number 23 would have. As Kane McDowell wide to Tavian Ludvigsen. Less than ten minutes to go. Regulation time in this half and no goals to show for it. We've certainly had our fair share of glimpses of that certainly changing. As a jack eight comes wide to Coombe and now Jesse Pinto feeds it wider to Sickles and now returns to his captain in Alexander Turner. Bell able to be just marshaled off the ball. Evans back to Stobart and Stobart does get a good weighted clearance out of play. And referee just coming to his fourth official there. Just for a bit of a word. Of course, many thanks to the Northern Territory Government as well as McDonald's for their continued and prolonged support for football across all grades throughout our regions in the Northern Territory. Ward Keller, your Territory Law Firm personal and business dispute resolution experts. 
And Stun Barbers, they have three locations, Parat, Bellamac and the Darwin CBD. Book now in 2022 and stay fresh with Diamond Barbers today. And... Paraskos Coombe, I believe, being called to the referee. Perhaps a passing comment made to an official. And it's a red card. Paraskos Coombe is dismissed. going to have to get some clarification of that at half time which is of course less than 10 minutes away but a very surprising result shocking given the circumstances a straight red card to Paraskos Kuhn in the 38th minute mark and just as I thought Hellenic was certainly edging into this game, a flurry of chances, that dismissal will not just mentally, but obviously tactically on the pitch change things up and Atlantic will continue with his throw in as Matthew McNabb looks to drive a ball into the box Stefanodakis Still with Nicholas Stefanodakis, perhaps might fancy an attempt, driving it to Bell. Bell still with the ball, trying to come away from a few. But still with Simon Bell, crosses the box, over the bar and out of play for a goal kick. And of course, when I mentioned earlier that we were we going to see the same as last weekend in terms of everything into a game, I wasn't alluding to a send-off, but now with less than 10 minutes to go into half time that certainly is now with obviously more than 45 minutes to play with a, with an, a man down but how is that going to play in do you think tactically for the coach Demi Galanopoulos here? Oh, I think Demi definitely is going to restructure his team to, to combat Mindel uh, as they come forward but we did see Darwin Hearts uh, go a man down really early on earlier than this and, mm -hmm. and they were able to stay in the game with Mindel so um, Hellenic just got to make sure that they, they bring the energy to the game and, and you know work that just extra hard because they do have that man down and Absolutely. hopefully they can stay within it and not but definitely not concede within the next 10, five minutes or so. Absolutely well said to that semi-final number two of course the Aces were successful in taking apart the hearts only two goals to one and of course as Andrew mentioned they were down to 10 for a large portion of that one I believe in around the 20th minute they were sent to 10 and Hellenic is more than capable of staying in a game and they've shown us for the better part of 40 minutes of game time that they've done that as Williams coming forward with possession for the aces a bit of space created and this will bounce fortuitously but Billy is able to get there well playing it in here for Alexander Turner and now Sickles to Turner to Roberto Sickles and now it's Turner again possession forward for the Blues and Matthew McNabb for Carpathios and now Roberto Sickles wide to McNabb again he cuts inside away so gracefully now it's Nicholas Stefanodakis wide for Bilius now Pinto away from Mifsud Alibert forward now Laguda he goes wide to Mifsud now a run perhaps for William but Ajeke will come across and neutralise that one Evans heads into the air Laguda forward and now Stefanodakis Sickles forward Bell coming to his feet Halibert for the aces. A run being made wide. And now it's Ludvigsen. Pushed to ground there by Sickles, earning the foul. 
Just a few of those minutes left for the Blues to hang on and perhaps get some wise words from their coach, Jimmy Galanopoulos. Dan McCormick will certainly have some battle plans to execute at halftime given the man advantage now and how they can leverage that in the second 45. In comes the ball by Laguda. A lot of weight to it, a little too much as Evans tries to leap and keep that ball alive. Not quite able to do so, and that will trail out of play for a Hellenic goal kick, and certainly no urgency shown by McAdam to take this goal kick, perhaps just trying to see it out to half time. Yeah, definitely. I'd, it, it's definitely a really important thing not to concede right now because the mood would definitely change, and mm -hmm. they got to have some sort of uh, some sort of motivation to, to keep going. Well, not motivation, but being able belief. To, yeah, belief as mm -hmm. well. That's that's the main thing. And, and if they go one nil down with one man down as well, it's, yep. it's a tough, it's a tough feeling at half time. Absolutely. Opportunity here for the Aces to exploit that space as Cars made a run here, take it into the box. Williams there. Tom Ali Bird a chance. He strikes off the crossbar. Back out into play. Ali Burt will take it down again. Nicholas Stefanodakis with him. Laguda on the edge of the area. Puts it inside. Jacker gets the clearance and he'll storm across and get that further wide. Pinto just conceding ground and getting that one clear as Evans turns away from danger. Now it's Wallace. Laguda. Comes wide here for Jeffrey Williams. Bell back to Wallace. Got caught there, but the Blues are dispossessed eventually. Ludvigsen wide to Carr. That space certainly being exploited here. A lot of time to sit on the ball here, James Carr, and switch the play to another player in a lot of space. Tom Alibert thinks about the opportunity and strikes not far away. Perhaps that man advantage, a bit of space is paying dividends, Andrew. Yeah, they've been exploiting that left side all the half, all for the whole half, and ever since Barasco received the red, they've just obviously overflowed it now with mm. James Carr coming on the left too. So, uh, yeah, Hellenic just got to watch out. They are looking to shift the play now as well, so yep. that can be uh, detrimental for a team that's a man down. So they've just got to keep their composure and discipline and, and try and block out any passes or our cross is coming into the box. Absolutely. Ball forward there by Evans. Looking for Card or sit a little kindly for him, but Hellenic can still come on with possession. Sickles over the top looking for McNabb. He's got pace to beat from Evans. It's Matthew McNabb in on goal. Referee points to... Not sure what he's pointed for, perhaps a penalty, and it's a red card. I'll tell you what, the playing field has been absolutely leveled. I think it's a free kick, Andrew, on the edge of the box, but nonetheless, Matthew Wallace, the Mindel Aces captain nonetheless, has just been dismissed from the game. Of course, on your graphic, you're a little bit a minute and a half behind. We have reached the end of regulation time on the North Crest scoreboard, and this could be for Hellenic just the chance they needed to come back into this game. Just looking at the replay from uh, Matthew Wallace, I don't think he actually stuck his foot out or he was just trying to recover the ball and, and um, as he was running, he, I think Matt, Matty McNabb clipped him. Not sure entirely happened, but I didn't see any foot stuck out by Matty Wallace. Wallace I think it was all unintentional. Interesting call there. He was on a yellow card, so that may have warranted a yellow nonetheless just for bringing him down. But a straight red coming out for Matthew Wallace. And now the man who won the free kick, the man who arguably has been the most potent forward today and also in the league for the season, Matthew McNabb, the number 23, step up in this grand final and win the headlines going into the half. It's a kick that he's been absolutely manifesting all week. Had the privilege of being away with him at the National Youth Championships. He was the assistant coach for the 15s, and he has been, no doubt, emphasizing this game as 
In comes McNabb with the strike. It's on course off the crossbar. Headed by Stefan Adakis, and that's wide. I almost spoke it into existence. Very, very nearly. The kick to send them into the half. That may be the final play of the first half. And if it's not your top goal scorer, it was your best and fairest winner that nearly opened the scoring. Nonetheless, we remain deadlocked. And if you're just joining us now, both players have had a man sent off in the 38th minute and here on the stroke of halftime, respectively. And this game's had it all except for a goal as Stobart goes forward. Car underneath it as well as Carpathios. This will come back for Sickles. It sits for Matthew McNabb. Looks forward here as Laguda's come across to fill that defensive void left by Wallace. Now McNabb away from Williams, crossing the halfway line and looking wide for Sickles. This will sit for the winger, not quite. The referee spots his linesman, razor eyes. And that perhaps is the last play of the end of the first half. Referee blows his whistle. We've had two send-offs, the 38th and 45th minutes respectively. Some attacking prowess from either side, but none could break the deadlock. So we will go into the half, level pegging. We'll try and get some clarification on the first send-off. But before then, Andrew, just some thoughts on the first half. Yeah, I think Hellenic grew uh, in, in strength by strength as, as the game went on in terms of their football and going forward. And um, Mindu have definitely been the better side, though. Uh, they've been dominant on that left side as well. So it's going to be really interesting how Dan and Demi do set up their teams. And I think that's going to be a really, really important factor mm -hmm. um, for the second half, how both teams set up and how they're going to play. Um, I think... Demi's going to emphasise again that they want to, they've, they've emphasised it from the start of the season, they want to win the grand final, and then this is obviously an opportunity for Dan to and, and his Mindel men to take out all, all trophies of the season. So, big opportunity for both teams. I think we've got a good game ahead of us, George. Absolutely. We will be rejoined with you shortly. Here's a short break, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, Men's Premier League Grand Final 2022. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you shortly.
Thank you for rejoining us, ladies and gentlemen, for the second half of this 2022 Men's Premier League Grand Final between Mindel Aces and Hellenic Athletic Club. If you are just joining us now in the second half, both players, both teams rather, have been dismissed to 10 men. Haraskos Coombe and Matthew Wallace. So 10 men for either team to start this second half. It'll be Mindel Aces going left to right on your screens. Getting us kicked off and underway for this second half. Referee Albert Krauss just getting us ready enough and away. Quick count of both teams to make sure no one snuck an extra man on. All good and ready to go as the Aces get us kicked off. Laguda, as mentioned prior into the first half, it seems as though he has dropped in defence for his side to make way for that dismissal of Wallace as Turner comes away from William and now Bilius with a ball forward headed out there by Williams Ludvigsen coming across this but Carpathios cuts it out well Sickles to Pinto now Pinto Turner crowd certainly turning up for this second half and it's Encouragement like that, sides like to see. Now Lewis William. Comes wide here to Jeffrey Williams. Looks like Mindel have taken up a 3-4-2 diamond approach in the middle. So it'll be, mm -hmm. I think it'll be a big match in the middle for Hellenic because they're only playing the three. So. Interesting to see. See how that dynamic works out. Laguda's pushed a little further forward now as Evans coming in here for the Aces. Plays it a little forward to Kane McDowell. Inviting attacking runs to be made. Lewis William, one of them. Snuffed out by Turner. Ball in by McDowell. Alex Turner comes across to marshal it to his keeper. And Kane McAdam can gather. Now Kane McAdam rolls it short to Tega and Cheke. Jesse Pinto. Looks for a wider ball. Wasn't quite on there for Roberto Sickles and trails out of play. Throw in. Laguda over his head. Stefano Dark is coming to win this and it's a strong challenge. The referee says he is seeing nothing doing in that. I thought there was contact on Stefano Darkus, but gladly he comes to his feet and he's okay to go. McDowell forward looking for a cheeky dink but a JK out momentarily and now it's Tavian Ludvigsen still with Ludvigsen back to Williams now Alibert to look to go to McDowell picked up by Carpathios and now George Carpathios for Hellenic cross here for Ross Bilius well done from Carpathios sold the dummy there and now it's Matthew McNabb fresh set of boots and he's ready to go and attack Williams here takes it well into the box McNabb across flashed off there by Evans first attack by the Blues is rewarded with a corner and it's that man that you want Andrew on the ball Matthew McNabb making a darting run yeah, definitely. But I think we've got to give credit to George there, who was able to obviously dummy the Mendel player and, and ping out that board to Matty, Matty McNabb so he can go one-on-one. -on -one. Something that doesn't uh, get noticed a lot from George Carpathio, so mm. I think, I think he's uh, really good at, at delivering those balls out wide and and so and get Hellenic onto the, account, onto the attack as, uh, as they just did just there. Absolutely. A lot of unsung work is done by George Carpathio, so he comes with the corner delivery. Jekka at that back post header. And out by Evans, and he'll carry the ball forward. Turner coming there with him. Puts in the challenge and puts it out of play for a Mindel throw. Miffs it with the ball. Throws it inside for Laguda. He looks to proceed long. A little too long and a little too central, not quite position for Ludvigsen or Carr to take advantage of. 
McAdam forward. McNabb brings it down. Sickles to McNabb. Now for Alexander Turner. Ross Billius. Looking to ride the line here. And Mifsud will see that out of play. I think the step-in captain, I think, now Mifsud's taken the armband off. Matthew Wallace, of course, probably the most capped Mindel player on the pitch, I believe. He would rival, certainly, McDowell for appearances. But, of course, the age of Matthew Mifsud, I think he is the next best man to assume that armband as in comes Bilius, perhaps for a longer throw. Comes straight back out, and Bilius with a strong challenge in there on Lewis William. Immediately blown for free kick. Just a little too hard of a nudge in the back there. Nothing malicious in that, just a genuine attempt to win the ball and a little too eager to get onto it. Mindel will have a throw in here. A free kick, rather, as we've played just over five minutes of the second half. Laguda to Williams. Dangerous ball across for Evans, but he's able to take it down with time. And now Mifsud has given away possession to Pinto and closed down as Pinto has won the ball and the throw in. Lays it back for Carpathios and now Stefanodakis. His ball is out into space. Closing it down is Carr. McAdam in there with the clearance. Ali Burt trying to contain that erratic ball from McAdam as Williams angles it forward. Can't quite hit Carr. A Jack A. McNabb forward. Simon Bell. Sees the run of Matthew McNabb. Looking to come away from Matthew Mifsud. It's Matthew McNabb with a strike. Oh, and that one. Certainly not far away. He's had a couple of darting runs already in this game, Matthew McNabb, and in the second half alone. And he looks quite on song. He's come across and just a quick grab at that right calf. And of course, was in a plane only hours ago, and after a big week of being away and away from team training and his usual schedule is certainly backed up well to even take part in this game and has been the main outlet for the Blues so far as the ball comes across here for Lewis William. Keepers come out here. McAdam in no man's land. He seems to be strong to win it. Out here for Carr. Ali Burt in space. Ludvigsen. Looks like McAdam might come away with this one as Ali Burt goes to ground. McAdam has the last laugh there. The goalkeeper coming out and does that very often. Very comfortable goalkeeper with the ball at his feet. And his team certainly help him out with one there. Ludvigsen forward and out of play for a throw in. Now McNabb away from Williams. Evans there, second Mindel defender is able to bring it down. Now Tom Alibert. Ludvigsen. Back to Evans. Space afforded to him. Finds James Carr. Now Matthew Mifsud. Looking to stretch this Blues defence. Now McDowell. Lewis William. Back out wide to Matthew Mifsud. Looking to go forward, Mifsud. Headed in there by Ludvigsen. It'll come out here and McAdam can make the pounce. And McNabb going to ground as Williams has the ball. Strike from distance. It'll come out here for Ludvigsen with space. A block off there by two Hellenic defenders. Matthew McNabb now with the ball out of defense. Looking to turn away from Ali Bird and Williams. Gets through Williams and Ali Bird. And Ali Bird holds him to ground. And... A yellow card to Ali Burt and a yellow card to Matthew McNabb. Wants the crowd to get involved here, Matthew McNabb. Of 
And this game isn't certainly for the light-hearted, and it picks up a notch, hasn't it, Andrew? Yeah, it looks like it's, it's getting more uh, aggressive now, and obviously McNabb taking on those two plays. Ali Bird didn't like that and, and pulled him back. Matthew McNabb didn't like that either. So hopefully the, both teams are able to contain both their emotions. Uh, it's not going to be good if one team ends up popping another red card. So it go, goes a man down, sorry. So Absolutely. Um, just going to keep their, their heads here and keep focused and just play the game. I've mm -hmm. noticed that uh, because of Mindel's approach with the 3-4-2, uh, Nick was starting on the right wing, but now he's tucked in to, to make a 4-3-2 um, for Hellenic. So mm -hmm. just, to, just to combat those numbers in the midfield. Just saw that little change Demi's made. Yep. Click on there. McNabb trying to take it away from Stefan Adakis, his own teammate. He's brought to ground. And it is a yellow card as well to Matthew Mifsud. Another free kick. Yeah, Mindel just have to be careful here. That's two times in the, in, in the space of a minute that they've given away a very silly free kick. Matthew McNabb is running to the sideline. Matthew, mm. Matty Mifsud doesn't need to do that. So um, you've got a few plays now that are on yellow cards, and all it takes is one tackle for them to, to be sent off. So... Yeah, just Mindel got to be careful, definitely. Well said there, I guess. Not many people are as aware to that aspect of the game where territorially he was moving to that corner flag. And so I guess conceding a free kick like this and then the subsequent yellow card, possibly a poor decision by Matthew Mifsud there. Yeah, definitely. And, and now that's on the top of the box, you can see the line, it's right there. <laughs> Matthew McNabb almost scored on the other end uh, just in the first half. He's going to be threatening here as well. So um, not looking good for Mindel uh, as we start this uh, second half. Absolutely. And so both players, Jack and McNabb, right-footed strikes of the ball. So if anything, this is going to curl over the wall or around the wall. Apart from Sickles, I'm not quite sure they have a left-footed man in their arsenal, but this might be good enough. But Jack A scored from free kicks. McNabb is potent as ever. In comes McNabb with the strike off the wall. Frustrated with that one. As Smithson comes and just tucks it out of play. Let's see the replay here. I believe it just struck the top of that wall as it came through and Away out for a throw. Mifsud back to Stobart. Back out to Mifsud. Has to come to his goalkeeper at seven and dark has picked it off here. McNabb in acres. Looking to come away from Williams. Rode the challenge and kept going. Matthew McNabb. Looking to come away from Williams. Still Matthew McNabb. Back heel. Cleverly done for Sickles. Ball comes into the box. Rising. Pinto, but also was McDowell. Ludvigsen, looking to come away from a couple players. Still with Tavian Ludvigsen. Back for William. Stefan Adakis gets a good cut in there. As Turner forward for Carpathios. Now a Jekka. Right here for Sickles. Overlapping run, he's got a lot of space in front of him. Looks to curl one in, but out by Williams. Now Carpathios. Nicholas Stefanodakis to Alexander Turner. Bilius comes centrally here, but Ludvigsen can pick it off for the aces. A lot of Hellenic players around him. His avenue is cut short. Has to go back to Williams. Looking to come to Carr, but Sickles picks it off, and he can go back to his centre half and does so at Jack A. Sickles forward. Williams picks it off, but he's dispossessed by McNabb. A little excited there, McNabb, and concedes the free kick. Quickly looking to be taken by Luguda, but held up by the referee and to send some options forward. Carr and Ludvigsen. William at the back post there and goes the way of Carr. Flick on there and that one spills out to Kane McAdam as they've almost played 15 minutes into the second half and still no score on the North Crest scoreboard. Stefan Darkus' ball wide finds Matthew McNabb away from Laguda. Still with Matthew McNabb. Middle here for Jesse Pinto. Now Sickles. 
Pinto. Turner. Wide to Bilius. Picked off by Mifsud. Now Carr. Ali Burt. Turner getting in a good challenge as well. Laguda with the aces able to retain possession. Play it forward for Carr as the Jeke arrives across. Still with possession, content to contain it. Center half. Carpathios to be picked off here by Ali Burt. And the Frenchman's won it. Thinking it wide here, but a Jack A reads it. And able to play it out. Yeah, Tay has been very defensively aware this whole entire game, being able to intercept and, and st prevent one on 1v1s coming through into the box as well. He's been very, very good for his team, solid for his team uh, this game. Definitely. Great center half as he's done a job so far. Another there he is again. great header there from a Jack A. Carl was lurking in behind him as McDowell. Retreats in a way to Luguda. And now William. Dangerous ball there. Missed in the first instance from Evans. Bell's got a man on here. Couldn't quite give it off to McNabb and he's been dispossessed. Much to the frustration of Matthew McNabb. As Luguda to Evans. Now Ludvigsen. Luguda. Out wide to Tavian Ludvigsen. Going to come past Sickles and Carpathios in the way. Referee says nothing doing. Sickles goes wide to McNabb. A couple of players coming in to win the ball. McNabb takes it in and throws down the line, looking to go Pinto early, but that zip of the ball is always going to favour the middle defender. Stobart sends it high and long into the night sky. Carpathios and Laguda. It's McNabb that wins out that 50 50 ball. Now it's Stefanodakis away from McDowell, but McDowell tracks it down. And Stefanodakis gets to the second ball and taken away by McDowell. And referee says you didn't get any of the ball and all man. So free kick to Hellenic and perhaps an opportunity for a set piece play, Andrew. Yeah, it looks like it again. Um, I think what Hellenic haven't been doing though is putting their bigger plays in the box. I can see Rossi Bilius and, and Tego Jake still sitting back and they're usually the two that you want in the box. So, um, yeah, I don't know what they're going to do here. Maybe they're going to go for a shot. Yeah, they've sent Turner forward and of course the imposing Simon Bell is always a good target to hit. But certainly I would be having Bilius and a Jake further forward and some of the smaller midfielder defenders back. But... In comes the ball. McNabb at the back post and tried the left-footed volley directly into goal. Not quite advantageous enough. It's Mifsud for the aces to Lewis William. Now Mifsud to William. Looking to get it through to Carr. McAdam will come. And he wins the ball. Strong by McAdam. Great challenge there from Kane McAdam. He's kept Carter ground for now, but he rises to his feet, and that's cleared very long and high and out of the stadium fencing there by Evans as that one goes out of play. Carpathios to Pinto. Looking to come inside. He'll be forced back here. Carpathios. Now a Jack A. To Turner. Jack A forced to angle his run and come wide here. He receives it, looks for a lofted attempt for Bell, gets headed to it, but Stobart's able to gather that one, thankfully. And he lofts it high into the night sky as well as Hellenic looked to come on a counter attack. McNabb straight away over the top. Bell's strength looks to get away from Evans. Holds it off well, Bell, and got the block in. Corner kick. And Hellenic slowly, slowly, you can sense a starting to turn the screw. And yeah, they've been rewarded with a corner. Yeah, Hellenic.
Munich have definitely have been dominant throughout the, uh, the whole entire second half. Mm -hmm. um, Middle have had their chances though. Uh, one of the things that I just picked up, well not picked up on, it's shown a lot, but McAdam has come out and been very adventurous. I think he's just going to be aware. He has made some strong tackles though. He hasn't really uh, conceded an opportunity um, based off middle attack, middle's attack. So mm -hmm. he's doing well, but all it takes is just one little mistake or one little fumble for the ball to be misplaced and, and Mindel are in on goal. That's exactly right. And as now they've taken an opportunity, to send a Jack A and Turner forward, but that ball, unfortunately, not rewarding of that opportunity won. And so out of play for a corner kick and almost 9.30 p.m. local time, a couple minutes to go until that. Of course, if you're watching this game live wherever you are around the world, we're in Australia's top end, Darwin, Northern Territory, and of course, at the moment, 24 and a half degrees, very comfortable conditions for players out here, as Kane McDowell has possession, and he goes wide to Ludwigsen, he takes it down and away from his stride, and come away from Sickles, Ludwigsen, Plays it back here, left by William. Ali Burt, chance, and hits the gut there of Turner. Play on, says the referee, Lewis William. Now it's McDowell. Ball into the box again, headed by Carr and out of play. And that's right, you did say it. All it takes is one chance, and that could have very well been an opportunity for Minder with that prior shot to the header, but to no avail. Yeah, James Carr's had three, I think, two or three opportunities now where he's been able to have a header and, and just obviously get it over the bar. If Mindoro can look to get James Carr just a little bit more deeper into mm. the box, he will have that opportunity to score. So, Absolutely. something to think about, I think. For yeah. sure, for sure. I'd be certainly looking to exploit that as well. <laughs> Brought to ground there, Ludvigsen. Referee does call a free kick. And an opportunity just to take some of the sting out of the game. And for the Aces to send a delivery into Hellenic's defensive box there. Some members of the crowd a little in disbelief of that free kick. And Kane McDowell will look to send this ball deep into the box. He does so. Two men lurking at the back post. Lewis William can't quite get correct contact. Back ahead of the flick is good, but Carpathios lays in wait. Quick counter attack is not on. Evans cuts that one out quality by Evans there. He did a little scan as soon as he touched that ball, as, as soon as he controlled the ball and, and saw Simon Bell and was able to make an advancing run. Absolutely. If he scan, he probably would have gone back. Free kick to Mindel and a caution picked up as well behind play from Nicholas Stefanodakis as James Carr has possession. Lunging challenge. And that's a yellow card for Carr as well into the book. Turner with a quick free kick. And now Bilius. Back to Turner. Now a Jekke. Nab. Nicely dinked ball. Sickles won't be able to get to that one, unfortunately. Perhaps that but weather having its sway on the game. Just to remind you, ladies and gentlemen, if this game does remain the same as we tick past that 90th minute and the referee's final whistle, we will go to 15 minutes of extra time per half and then penalty shootout to decide the winner of the grand final. Nice ball forward by Mifsud. And the offside flag does race. Slightly leapt a little early James Carr and flag straight away up to deny the opportunity. Now Stefanodakis. Carpathios. Ajaka. McNabb. Still Matthew McNabb advancing forward in an attempt from distance. Not quite troubling the goal of Jordan Stobart. Out of play for a goal kick. Quickly sent wide by the Aces goalkeeper. Stobart now. Ali Burt. McDowell. 
Evans. Long lifted attempt, Lewis William brings it down. McAdam will rush him. Gets back into his goal quickly, miffs it with the ball in. Rising car, Jack A, good header as we have mentioned it numerous times this evening. Ludvigsen with a strike and that's a great palm. Single-handedly denied Ludvigsen. Yeah, that was quality by Tavian. Great top, looking to go top left for Kane and obviously Kane being able to scramble and make that save. Brilliant. Certainly goalkeeping excellence outdoing the attacking excellence by Tavian Ludvigsen. Denied by Kane McAdam. Set piece for Mindel. Very dangerous on set pieces, so I only just have to be careful here. Ball into the box it goes. Headed out by Turner. Now Evans. Sends it back into a defensive. Uh, and now McNabb. McNabb goes wide. Turner here with some space to clear for his side. Goes down looking for Bell. Williams intercepts that one. Now Ali Bird away from Ludvigsen. The Frenchman fancies a run. Left by Carr. He was in an offside position. Kane McAdam gathers and goes to Roberto. Sickles and now Pinto to Bell. Carpathios. Sickles. Pinto. Sickles over the top. Now Evans. McDowell. Sickles with a strong challenge. 50 50 with Ludvigsen. Away from Ali Burr. And now Pinto to Matthew McNabb and the referee <laughs> almost didn't want to give it but he had to as McDowell goes down the line Sickles intercedes and plays it forward McDowell looking to get some distance in there but Jekke brings it forward and now Carpathios Tagger Ajeke Alexander Turner Lofting it long. Williams needs to judge it well. Does so. Evans forward. Wide here for Kane McDowell. He'll play it back here to Williams. Kane McDowell. Away from McNabb. Back to Jeffrey Williams. Now Joshua Evans. Good left-footed ball out for Joshua Laguda. Looking to dink it over the top. We use the weight of the pitch to allow it to come to Tavian Ludvigsen. Now back to Mifsud. Mindel certainly the fair share of the possession in the last five minutes or so as it comes out to McDowell. He strikes. Blocked through there. Goal kick and an opportunity which comes to no avail that time for the Aces, but I guess after Hellenic's very early dominance in the second half, slightly showing now it will be more of an even contest to, to yeah, end. Yeah, it does, does look like it's more contested. Um, I think having four in the middle for Mindel is definitely an advantage, and throughout the half, whenever they've gone through the middle, they've looked very strong because they've outnumbered the Hellenic midfield, so uh, Hellenic just have to be aware of that and make their Jews whenever the ball's in the midfield. Absolutely. Giving away possession there that time by the Blues as Williams comes forward to take the throw. Quickly done for James Carr. Now Tavian Ludvigsen. Forward for Kane McDowell. Enterprising run by Kane McDowell. Sliding in his turn up. Does very good. Great challenge there from the Hellenic captain. We've seen that time and time again as Stefano Darkus now coming forward possession heavy touch given away to Williams Turner once again with possession the Hellenic captain looking to dink it over the top Simon Bell making a fortuitous run Mifsud's running hard Simon Bell coming in having the shot 
And someone, I believe, on the McMillan's road end will have an extra football. That one's gone blazed high and over as a substitution looks to be in the offing for the Mindel Aces. And that'll be shortly as play gets back underway. Laguda wide for William. Lewis William forward to Laguda. Alexander Turner once again picks it off. Come past Lewis William as well. The Hellenic centre half and captain joining in. And Simon Bell lets it run. Looking to come forward for McNabb. Not quite successful as Stefan Adaka sees the run being made by Roberto Sickles. The left back joining in here. Comes past Jeffrey Williams. Sickles still. And coming across is Laguda. Very experienced not to dive in there and make a challenge but use the body to show him out of the box back to Carpathios Pinto turns Ludwigsen still with Pinto and Sickles sends it forward but Williams gets a clearance in now James Carr holds up the play for the moment allows reinforcements to come Ludwigsen but he gives the ball away straight away to Tegera Jeke the Hellenic centre half comes in, but Carr gets in the clearance and wins the throw. Substitution for Mindel, and what looks to be the change there, Andrew. Yeah, it looks like Eamon Kelly's coming on. He definitely uh, can inject some pace up front for, for Mindel, so Hellenic just need to be aware, because you can see, particularly on the side that Eamon Kelly is in, Tego, JK and Roberto, you can see that fatigue is setting in. Yep. And I think it's time for Dimi to also make a change as well, mm -hmm. due to the fatigue that is setting in across his team. Another substitution there took place in the centre of the park. Joshua Day coming onto the field for Kane McDowell as Ali Burt comes away. Picked off very well there by Rossi Bilius. And it was James Carr, the man who came from the field in that replacement for Eamon Kelly. McNabb goes wide. Bilius is joining the attack in there. Now McNabb has to take on Williams. Matthew McNabb sends the ball into the box and back post. It's a goal. Simon Bell. Puts the Blues in front. And that is a great goal. And a great assist as well. By Matthew McNabb. Put it onto a silver platter for Simon Bell. And now the Blues have the advantage. And the stadium's just erupted, Andrew. Yeah, you can see that the Hellenic uh, players went over to the Mindel side and sort of just rubbing them up a little bit. I think they're just going to keep their heads still Hellenic. They need to stay focused. It is a final. Mindel are going to want to, they're going to come out even firing now, trying to get that one more draw. Uh, it's going into extra time, hopefully. But you've also got the Hellenic fans that are really, really right up as well, banging their drums. I don't know what else they have there. Some sort of <laughs> instruments, but... You can hear the crowd, it is, it is uh, a lot more loudly. Absolutely. But I mean, again, it is a final. Hellenic need to be aware here, they need mm -hmm. to be stay focused. Mindel is still going to want to score so they can try and take this game to extra time. Yep. A substitution occurring there as well. Captain coming off, Matthew Mifsud. And he has been replaced by the experienced Taiki Kudo. And then Kelly straight away on the ball. And straight away winning a set piece. And given the goal we've just seen, I dare say a goal from here just may tear the stadium apart. It's... I think you're right there, George. The Aces fans, you can tell, you know how vocal they can be and you can tell they are going to want to hit back if they can. And if this ball finds its way into the back of the net, Tom Alibert. Well, statistically speaking, Mendel have been the better team throughout the whole entire season, beating Hellenic every single time 2-1. I think Hellenic need to get another goal to secure this game if they're going to, uh, or if Mendel don't concede from, uh, sorry, don't score from this uh, goal, uh, from this free kick. Um, if they get two goals, then the game's open. But it's again, it's all, it's anyone's game still because of those statistics prior. Absolutely. Mendel is still in it. And yes, I think the the crowd will definitely go up another notch. 
Tom Alibert over this set piece. In he comes a delivery off the wall. Relief momentarily. Taiki Kudo will speed across to that one. Put the ball into the box here. McAdam comes. Fortunately for him, it came straight down to a teammate. And Evans, or Williams rather, continuing his attacking run. Sickles coming, trying to keep it alive. But it does go out of play for a corner. Just over 10 minutes of regulation time for the Blues to survive here. Not only their first notch against the Aces it would be for season 22, but probably in the greatest game of all and the decider. Corner kick now for the Aces. Delivered by Williams, comes into the box here. Looked to be a foul there on the goalkeeper. And so a free kick for Hellenic. I must uh, add, obviously being behind the scenes with trainees at Hellenic, they have been working on their set pieces defensively, uh, particularly with corners. So um, it's, it's, they've been very, very uh, obviously strong in, in those defensive set pieces when, when the corners are coming in from mm -hmm. middle. Yep. Um, haven't seen much uh, threat as they normally show across, you know, when they verse other teams. So yep. I think Hellenic have defended pretty well in that defensive set piece. Well, the yep. past set pieces that they have had against them. Substitution here for the Aces. Jeffrey Williams has been a soldier for the best part of 80 minutes, and his replacement is going to be Dylan Mountain. Coming sure up that defense, perhaps to eventually go three in the back and send another man forward for the time being. Still find themselves 1 0 down. And now Stefanodakis stinking it over the top in a dangerous position. Matthew McNabb has the pace to get onto the end of this, and he looks to be going to the corner flag. Wins the throw. A little, perhaps a little bit too early to be going yeah, for corner think, tactics. Yeah, I think uh, going to, to your corner. point, I guess, sorry, Andrew, you were saying that extra goal would see them in a more comfortable spot. Yeah, definitely. We haven't seen a game against Mindel where Hellenic have, well, a uh, Hellenic and Mindel game where Hellenic have scored two goals. So I do mm -hmm. think that Hellenic still need to search for that second goal yep. to get this game into the bag. Absolutely. Or perhaps tactics or frustration, perhaps to make Mindel overcommit and then force their hand and send an extra man forward and could ultimately play directly into the hands of the Blues. We shall see how it pans out, but. I'm sure plenty of people will be rewinding that goal to take back. It was a perfectly assisted ball by Matthew McNabb and really Simon Bell with his stature and the diving header couldn't miss. Vixen looking to dink one over the top for Eamon Kelly and it's a little excited there, Eamon Kelly, to win the ball. Yeah, unnecessary from Eamon there. Mm. And Cheke stays to ground, hasn't moved yet. I assume he's okay. It certainly is. Just taking a moment to himself. A little reckless there from Eamon Kelly. Substitute looking to try and get himself interjected somehow. And now McAdam. Sending it forward. Bell getting contact. Tom Alibert away from Stefanodakis. Back today. Taiki Kudo to Tavian Ludwigsen. Elias with a sliding challenge. William further forward to Tavian Ludwigsen. Looking to come away from Alexander Turner. And Taiki Kudo trying to come away from Ajeke. Karpathi also look to keep this alive, but Kudo's won it. And the ball had gone out of play. Flirting with danger certainly was Karpathios there. Yeah. Just on that replay, just for the viewers at home, it did go out. Definitely. Certainly did. And I was about to mention it prior to the Mindel attack that Galanopoulos has been resolute so far, hasn't used a substitution, but he may be forced into one very shortly. 
So with five full substitutions to make, perhaps there is a more composed one about to be made as this ball comes forward. Evans with the header. Lewis William seeks the pace of Eamon Kelly. Turner is in there as well. Eamon Kelly as hungry as ever to win this ball. Ludvigsen and Turner. Turner gets it out. Eamon Kelly needs options here. Tackle comes in. Ball is cleared. Laguda wide. Taiki Kudo. Now Taven Ludvigsen to Lewis William. Tried to go for the one-two, but it's given possession away. Matthew McNabb, two-on-two two here. Simon Bell on this far side. McNabb will play it to his number nine. Goal assister to the goal scorer. Stefan Adakis has made an attacking run as well. He will come across to this one with plenty of space in front of him. The best and fairest of season 2022 takes it to the corner flag and they look to get a touch off that one. Not quite successful and out of play for a goal kick. Substitution, Andrew. Yeah, Rico seems... looks like he's coming on. This might be for Nicky Stefanodakis. And coming from the field, Nicholas Stefanodakis. A great 85 minutes in this grand final. And Federico Badia in his place to see out the remaining five minutes or so. Pinto back across to the substitute there, Badia. Sickles. Looks to come forward to Federico Badia. Seeks the line. Joshua Laguda. Seems the switch on for Taiki Kudo. Now Joshua Day. Taiki Kudo has continued his run. He goes forward, Turner with the header. Kapathios his defensive half, all the way back to his goalkeeper. Kane McAdam. Evans with a clearance. Now Kudo. Tackled there by Pinto, but it remains with the aces. Day to Laguda. Now Mountain. Day to Mountain. Joshua Day. The Aces will want to try and weave a path to goal as Kudo has the ball. Goes forward as Turner looks to repel. Lewis William. Back to Day. Eamon Kelly trying to play the back heel there. No teammate was in offing. Stobart needs to come out to collect this. And he waits in box to gather and roll. And now Mountain. You can definitely see the impact of the fresh legs. Mountain, Eamon, uh, Eamon Kelly, and definitely having more of the ball. Absolutely is. Now another one of those. As mentioned, Mountain goes wide. Looking for Kudo, but Bilius picks it off. Bell, Pinto. Has he timed his run? The referee's whistle will go into the mouth as McNabb just slightly late there on the attacking run. Offside. Just the one change used so far by coach Jim and Galanopoulos. Perhaps more to be used as a means of tinking down that time. As Tom Ali Burt goes to Ludvigsen. Still with Taven Ludvigsen away from Turner. And an attacking run. Save made by Kane McAdam. And denying the aces there. A good run, wasn't it? Yeah, Almost definitely. rewarded. Goal scoring, goal scoring opportunity there. Very nearly paying dividends as a bit of sickles remains to ground. And I believe a substitution will be made as well. Looks like Samson Mashamango is coming on. Has not been in the team squad for the past couple weeks of course one of those contingent of players that took part in a interstate competition and since his return to Darwin has now worked his way back into the side and will make a last ditch cameo for Roberto Sickles who looks to be the man substituted
And off he goes to the far side as Hermson Mashamango enters the fray. We are into the final minute of regulation of season 2022. The last dance. And it's Hellenic who just need to hold on for a fraction longer. Joshua Day. Cross to Joshua Evans. Now Taiki Kudo. Looks like Laguda has a little bit of a limp. Absolutely, as there's a late challenge in there. And Badia picks up a caution there. Cynical foul. Less than 30 seconds remain of regulation time. This perhaps might be a ball into the box. Throw some numbers forward. Try and direct something towards the goal of McAdam. Create calamity in the box. Stobart not told to go forward. Just one man will be behind the ball. Bar the goalkeeper, that's Mountain. And Laguda shaping up to have a, an attempt. He's driving this from distance. Blocked off there by Pinto. We've reached the end of regulation time. It's up to the referee now as to his adjudication as to who wins this game or how long is to go. Laguda playing it forward. Header by Jack A goes into back there and Eamon Kelly pushed into the back. This might be all or nothing. Yeah, another unnecessary foul. They're going towards the sideline. Samson doesn't need to push Eamon in the back there and now again they've got another dangerous set piece. Could be one of the final opportunities the Aces have. And it will be Eamon Kelly to put the delivery in. Out first time by Turner. McAdam, McNabb brings it down. Day asking for a teammate to come. Referee glances over at his fourth official. Time of the essence. As Ludvigsen looking to come in towards the box. Fronted up by Bilius. Ludvigsen still. Of Turner. Corner kick. It's now or never. Goalkeeper realizes that. And Stobart is making that trek forward. What a moment it would be if Stoddard was able to score this, get onto this. I mean, to be speaking that into existence would certainly be miraculous. A player is down for Hellenic. They're urging for someone to come onto the pitch and see some attention be made. Of course, the referee will look to pause any time now and add to stoppages. if they don't make a substitution you'll just need to come off from the field of course but medical attention is being called see Dean McAdam coming on now to, to give attention to, to the player down and just something behind the scenes at training Dean McAdam is a goalkeeper coach and he doesn't just coach the goalkeepers he also coaches the players on how the behaviours of goalkeepers and how they move and what, what kind of passes you should make to try and get an easy goal and he definitely does not just coach the goalkeepers and he's been a, a, a fantastic asset to, to Hellenic um, overall during the season yep absolutely a great servant to the game across the clubs he's been involved with I believe that is, I believe that is Rossi Bilius down again. And John Malis will come onto the pitch to make a cameo as well. To replace Bilius and more importantly to try and repel this corner of which the goalkeepers come forward. In comes Kudo, he goes short. Tom Ali Burt, the ball comes into the box, glanced in there, dangerous, and it's over the bar. That was the chance, and it was blazed over the bar. I think there were three Mindle plays there, right in front. There's the replay. Oh, no. 
How could you miss, Andrew? I think he just got under it. That's all it is. <laughs> You're right in front of goals. All you have to do is just pretty much pick a corner. He may have thought he scored prior to hitting the ball, but that easy bit of work that certainly looked from up here is done and wasn't dispatched as this header comes away here. Crowd are urging for this game to be over. As Ali Burt looks to come forward. Still with Tom Ali Burt. Back for Laguda. Away from Badia. It's all or nothing for the Aces here. As it comes across to Taiki Kudo. Now Mountain. Looking to dink one into the box here. Brought down by Laguda. Away and out of danger. Matthew McNabb here looked to try and milk up some precious seconds of the clock. Referee's whistle is in his hand. Referee still waving play on for the time being as Taiki Kudo comes forward here for Ludvigsen. Away from Mashamango. Bell repels. Now Laguda. Ludvigsen. Still with Tavian Ludvigsen. Plays it forward here. They're going to dink it through for Day and Day it's cleared. And going for a substitution. Simon Bell, the goal scorer, comes from the field and he is replaced by Manoli Jalouris. Laid on, cards flying, but I don't think it's going to matter in a few moments. Mountain. Back to Kudo. And Evans. They're throwing the kitchen sink at this one. Comes forward to Tavian Ludvigsen. This is surely one of the last plays of the game as Mountain has the ball. And the referee blows full time. That brings the end of the 2022 men's Premier League season. And it's Hellenic Athletic Club who prevail one goal to nil. A fantastic assist by Matthew McNabb. Sees Simon Bell score the winner. And unfortunately, history can't be created for the Aces. They've had a fantastic season. But it's Hellenic who have the last laugh in regards to the league. They are grand final champions. The slimmest of margins. Andrew Savas, I know you'd be delighted, but what was your assessment from what was a very tactically tight contested game? Oh, I think it all boiled down to that shot from uh, Tavian just right in front of the box. If, if he had uh, secured that goal, it would have been a whole whole different game you can't feel you just feel sorry for Mindel as well and they tried particularly towards the latter end of the match they tried really really hard to to get through in on goal and, and I think they should have been rewarded and I do think that it should have gone to extra time but obviously Hellenic were able to come out on top quality uh, cross into Simon Bell from Matty McNabb to, to score that diving header absolutely um, it's again a fantastic game almost had everything it had just red cards didn't have extra time like last week but again um, can't, can't, yeah. You del I'm obviously delighted because I'm a Hellenic uh, fan and a Hellenic player, but can't, can't feel nothing. But, but, so, so I'm just feel so really sorry for Mendel for, for yep. the effort they put in. Absolutely. Throughout the season, and they did. I do definitely think that they deserved it. Um, Premiership. Yep. Yeah. Commiserations to the Aces. Jubilation for the Hellenic fans. We. My name is George Kupfersis. Again, excited and proud to have been joined by Andrew Savas. We'll have a short break here and then be resumed with you for the medal presentation and trophy presentation. Hellenic Athletic Club, grand final champions. We hope you have a safe rest of your evening, but don't go anywhere. If you are a Blues fan, a lot of joy coming up in the moments to come.
Ladies and gentlemen, again, uh, whip out to the wire. Round of applause for both teams. This is tonight's grand final. Well done, boys. Start off proceedings tonight. Um, we're going to start off. We've got a couple of presentations tonight. Uh, start off with the Premier's Plate. Uh, we'll award the Premier's and then we'll go on to the Championship stuff later on. So we'll go on with the Premier's. This year... Team, um, Dan, where, where's Dan? Dan McCormack. Well done to you this year, mate. Uh, again, most of the team have the lead this year. Uh, and again, well deserved. Well done in the FFA Cup. Looking forward to seeing this again next year. So a round of applause for Midland Laysers, our Premier this year, 2022. Josh, third Josh, Jordy, Louis, Betty, Okay, let's hear it from Minnesota City, our premiers for 2022, everyone. Okay, we'll just go on to the final. Again, without, uh, without these guys, games would be possible. And again, they're week in, week out, out there. Um, keeping with the rough things and so forth. So again, we'll get our referees up here. So round of applause for our referees tonight. Great final tonight. Uh, one goal obviously separated them. 
in tough conditions. Arise up, Mindalaces Football Club. Special mention, Demi, congratulations to you, the coaching staff, well deserved tonight. Uh, again, round of applause for the champions, Helena, Athletic Football Club. Left. 